Okay, yes, I am a from the commercial break to a Akroma TV GH. So, yes, um, and then the first time I'll me and I will team here. Subscribe to the channel. Oh, you know, I like if you know what's in our do comment at the comment section. I'm a king kind of idea. I'm a meeting and then I'm a quami. It's a hene yen to us. What and for my more nature is the same. No, um, NDC or Mudicia, ye be cha. I repeat, NDC or Dicia. You be try, like this is this is a literal meaning i don't mean harm what i say what i'm trying to say is that when they lie we'll come and expose them we we are good in exposing like ubi turn try be you ama you be you be you be you to you be my reaction in them we say oh you're true for that is my interpretation to um udisia you be try and you're more dna or kind of cry we are boy we are crossing it with jimmy oh my like a whole lot that is how they are trained. Why? Because they are uneducated. The Biamika say NDC communicators from grassroots to the Esgeke eh, eh, no. They are uneducated. Clap for your hands. We ye the the MMDC ni DC mani. No, just tell me. The MMC ni DC mani. Mfa. Good. So we need intellectuals to run the country to its you know glory and all that. Yen tuwa son famamwa. Dennis Miracles Abuaje has exposed the NDC once again about jobs that are created in our country. Yes, memo we tie the we see church in this room now. Tie we are we say and some are NDC four cano and then your Dennis here cano sebi 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 obi die air fabricated name mo obi die sebi nam nam sa e boom and tie si e boom I'm a war cry not in this room say hmm me baby so cry ne bi aye. Now, Baumia says we're creating over 1.2 million jobs, and which is true. I care can only say maybe a Okuma, Ama, and this in this media. If sorry, I'm more on some people reading it. You know, they just they just start to say things anyhow, and then near Baba expose you. You could see the real breakdown of jobs. I can't want to see me anyhow. I'm missing your market to offer. With Dennis Miracles Abuaje, you could team right near Betwas with your mom, Midi, and another Kwame Etwa in Aye, Akroma TVGH. You could team right here. That's over two million jobs have been created, and these two million jobs, the details have been given. Let me go to chapter seven of the budget appendix that they keep referring to. You see, when you continuously explain something and everybody else understands, except an opposition party. Are you, then, sh are you sure it is only the NDC? But why don't you understand that, that this? Understand. This is data. This is not a vice president data. So if you still don't understand it, I'll be surprised. This is not a vice president data. Forget the vice president data. Which you are surprised. This is... Well, well he never mentions it. When but I'm, I'm giving you more evidence mm -hmm. to prove that jobs can be created in millions. This is a SNIT data. Okay. Okay, so that settles it. Now, the second level is this. Chapter 7 of the budget always captured public sector employees who are paid through controller and accountant general. And I'll give you an example. When you pick the 20, pick any of the, any of the appendices, and I have them here. Right. You'd realize that. Look at the, an, a ministry like um, Ministry of Transport. 766 staff. 766 staff in 2019. You know what Ministry of Transport is made of? No. Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority. Mm -hmm. Ghana Airport Company Limited. Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority alone have 4,667 employees. Ghana Airport Company Limited. Metro Mass Transport Limited, Regional Maritime University, Ghana Maritime Authority, where are their figures? Where are they on Chapter 7? So you see, you cannot go and pick Chapter 7 and use it to determine the number of public sector. It means you are ignorant. You don't understand the issues. And we have consistently said that. Let me also help you. When you pay the Vice President data, you would realize that under each of the ministries, the Vice President indicated the agencies. It's another column here, agencies. So if you pick Ministry of Aviation, for instance, Vice President has captured Ghana Airport Company Limited, Ghana Civil Aviation. Ghana Airport Company Limited, Ghana Civil Aviation, they are not paid by Controller and Accountant General. So their data is not in Appendix 7. We need to help the viewers. It doesn't mean that I have a problem with the opposition, but let's state the fact. Let's educate the Ghanaian populace, especially when we have the platform, to explain to them the issues. Ministry of Transport that has all these agencies is reported in Appendix 7, 766 staff. Are you saying that that is all we have under Ministry of Transport in the public sector? Why are we doing this to ourselves? 
And then when we have the opportunity and we have the evidence and we have the figures, then we will jump into other things that are not related to the, the, the subject matter. Again, this whole issue of there are lots of people sitting home and they don't have jobs. I have said it, and I'll continue to say it. If you want to understand these things, it's not about you sitting on TV and throwing in things and trying to beat up sentiment and do propaganda. Me, I'll allow you to do it. But I'll still draw you back to the fact. How many people do we churn out every year from all the various, mm -hmm. let's say, post-secondary school? You know, at least in Ghana, post-SHS, you can do some kind of job. How many people do we churn out? Put it all together and ask yourself that. If we look at what we are doing year on year, even what Dr. Baumia presented, do we have enough numbers to even capture all those we are, we, are, we are churning out every year? No. We are actually churning out a lot more employment-ready citizens more than we are actually creating. So it is understandable that in spite of the 2 million jobs that have been created, we will still have a lot more Ghanaians who need jobs. What we should be talking about is how we will be able to speed up the process to capture all of this. But right. really, what are we discussing? The facts are here. The evidence is here. Right. Every single document, official document from SNES, from controller, everywhere shows that a, a, a particular government can create jobs into millions. Right. You may disagree. It's a surprising to you. It's an impossibility to you. But that has been done. And right. it is backed by the facts. Right. Uh, Michael, if you, let me just conclude by okay. this. If you pick the 2016 um, Senate report, the NDC also created some jobs. The figures are there. So the, the, take the 20, 2013, 14, 15, 16, the four-year period, 706,000. It's here. 706,000. That, that is it. You understand? So the time they created the 706,000, did they employ all unemployed people into the, in, in the country into, into employment? We should have been doing this to ourselves. And this, and this kind of conversation explains why any time the vice president speaks, we cannot sleep. Because if you sleep, they will throw dust into everybody's eyes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I will, Let me I will, quickly go to that. Because we have a, Let me different go topics to that we're going to be talking about. And help your viewers. The Appendix 7, the way they even interpret it is very poor. So the NDC is picking 2017 Ghana Education Service staff strength, as reported in Appendix 7, and then picking 2023 and making a deduction and saying that when you take it out of this, you get this. And that's the number of jobs. It's a very poor, poor way of doing the mathematics. And I'll explain to you. That is why Dr. Baumia is providing employment figures. He didn't just take the uh, 2020 and 2017. He gave year on year. And there's a reason why. The same Appendix 7. 2017, GES in the Appendix 7 reports 355,641. 2018, the same Appendix 7 reports 308,702. What it means is that between 2017 and 2018, based on the Appendix 7, and it's all here, based on the Appendix 7, 46,859 people left the GS. And then in 2019, the same Appendix 7, 2019 budget, reported 435 is here. What it means is that between 2018 and 2019, do you know what happened? 126,706 people were added. Does it mean that we employed 126,706 between 2018 and 2019? Per their, their calculation, you go to 2020. Now it's moved from 435 to 387,029. We lost 48,459. Does it mean that we lost 48,000 people living GS? Then in 2021, it goes to 393,000. 6,000 more added. Then in 2022, it shoots from 393 to 451. 57,446 added. Then in 2023, finally, it comes to 387,000. It meant that it had lost almost about 64,000. Now, can listen to this. And let's help our viewers. That is why they spend time to watch us. The data you have on Appendix 7, I have insisted and said it and educated severally. When the Ministry of Finance is going to read the budget, there's a system, okay, that is available for the Ministry of Finance in terms of public sector employees paid directly from the consolidated fund. You go into the system and download a report on that day. Now, Ken, that report, this is what happens. It only takes cognizance of the very active employees on the day you are downloading. What it means is that those who have retired are not part. Okay. Those who have resigned are not part. Those who are on paid leave, those who are on unpaid leave are not part. Those who those have who, died? Those who have died. Those who are on suspension without leave are all not part. And that explains why if you pick each of the years, you see that in some years,